What's up, anyone? This is Amy from TUC077, and again, I'm gonna be showing you how to flash in your 4.2 Jelly Bean on your Samsung Galaxy S Vibrant. That will only work on the Vibrant, it won't work on any other phone, probably. You probably wanna check it out if they have a ROM, this kind of ROM for your, ga your Galaxy S variant. So, I already showed you how to flash in your 4.2 Jelly Bean, but this one's different because it got amp. Touch with 5.0 over it, touch with UX. Okay, so it's 4.2 and it got touch with UX over it. It got the launcher and every every other thing, and it really works cool. So I'm not really moving, like, I'm not that I'm not saying that room root box is a bad thing, but I just want to show y'all that you could flat just for for touch with people, for people who like touch with to flash a touch with touch with ROM. So if you're expecting to get the motion controls like on the Galaxy S3 and the Galaxy S2, like when you palm swipe to capture it, like the screenshot, the way the way you take a screenshot by going like that, all these kind of stuff, no, you won't get it because probably the Galaxy S does not support it. The accelerometer on the Galaxy S just doesn't support it or something like that. I don't really know how it goes, but I know it's a software 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 thing, but it just doesn't support it. I don't really know why. Maybe. It just doesn't the processor is too weak or something like that i'm not really making fun of the vibrant but you know so oh my god hold on oh, i always make this mistake so go to recovery mode you could just hold the up and down volume buttons while the phone is off hold down the it's kind of like they broke oh hold, hold on the up and down volume buttons and then hold down the power button keep holding them until you get this screen then let go and then you should get the, um, the, um, what was it again? I forgot what was it. The recovery mode. See, straight though. So what you're going to do, wipe data factory, reset. Even if you didn't do anything that custom, mom, you got to wipe the data. Same thing every time. So, uh, so right now, after you wipe the data, Go to advanced and then go to wipe delvet cache, then wipe delvet cache, then go to install zip from SD card and yes, this time you gotta flash the the gaps and it's e r e m i c s like remix kind of like that yeah J B four point two point one vibrant zip it's official it's not like not unofficial it's official. So wait till you install it might take a while cause yesterday I was I thought that my vibrant brick. So yeah it will take a while. It might take like three, four minutes. But just keep it waiting. Keep stay waiting. It's a hundred and thirty four megabytes. Not a big one, but for some reason it just doesn't install as fast as other custom ROMs. So right now when it's installing, it's suddenly or oh, like not suddenly, but kind of like that. It's just gonna go up from here all the way here so fast. See? Oh, it just like responded to my finger. Well, it didn't take as long as yesterday or last night. So it's done. And go again to choose zip from SD card. Hold on. Still didn't focus. Still didn't focus. So let me see if you could use the touch buttons. Yes, you could. There you go. So go back to your downloads or whatever you put the things and then in gaps JB just flash the gaps. This will be fairly fast. And it's gonna be done about right now. Nope. So it's done. Let's give it a reboot. Oh, I 
sorry. Now just go back and then advance and then wipe down with cache. I don't know it maybe already did that and then fix permissions and then go back then reboot system now. And I'm gonna be back in a second. Already? Probably not. No, I probably didn't. What happened? So let's reboot and there it is. Whoa. Seriously. Okay, now it's rebooting. We're gonna be comparing it with the Galaxy S3, of course. Let's touch with UX. The whole animation right here is cool, but not as cooler as as cool as you know. Yeah, I'm, never, I'm not really sure if it got the touch wrist player. Then check on that. Hopefully it does. Well, they probably included the flop player thingy. It's called Super Video. Come on, come on, come on. And of course, it got the touch wrist launcher. launcher. And the touch with settings except for motion. I really love I really like the motion settings. They're just awesome. Okay, I'm gonna be back when it's done. Probably. Maybe. Come on, just reboot. Okay, if it crossed eight minutes and it did not finish then I'm gonna stop the video and continue when it's done takes time all right I'm gonna start the video so it's done let's go ahead and check it out you get the battery up there and everything let's keep all this you could tell from the sound skip so touch is 5.0 right here on my vibrant now let me put the brightness a little lower okay here we go so let's compare it with the galaxy s3 so on the lock screen, nope, you don't get the Galaxy S3 lock screen. Hold on, let me put the brightness on the Galaxy S3 a little lower. Hold on just a second, sorry about that. Alright, so the lock screen, no, you don't get it. Sorry about that. But the Vibrant can do, the, it cannot, it's not a super phone, cannot do all stuff. But you could hear that it got the same effects on the volume. Hear that? And even when you lock it, hold on, let me put this on high volume. Even when you lock it, hear the sound. See? Same sounds. And, um, same home screens, same app drawers. See, and same animation between screens. You don't get the same exact widgets, though. And then right here you get also the same exact launcher. The launcher is exactly the same. The camera is not. Because when you go on the camera right here, you just put no things. It's different. And when you go to settings, so that the drawer, the notification area is different because 
they they couldn't of course they can't put the exact same thing I don't know why but you got quick settings here here you don't so let's go to settings where settings oh there it is couldn't see it hold on sorry about that so here's settings and here's settings and they almost the same too you don't get blocking mod, but you get quiet hours. You don't get everything you got says three guy. And on the bottom, you don't get everything either. Um, you do get developer options when you go to the build number, and then you keep tapping, and then now you have developer options, and you get the performance thing, so you could overclock it and whatever. So in more settings, of course, you don't get NFC. The, the vibrant does not support NFC, and you don't get home screen modes. Mods. I don't even know why I flashed this custom ROM, but it looks more like the vibrant. So when you go to the camcorder, and of course it does not look the same. Like let's say we're taking a video, and then right here, let's say we're taking a video too, and then we're done taking the video. Yeah, of course the player won't be the same. Yeah, keep it. So the player here, oh, let's wait for this. So the player here, see the player? And the player here, how do you go to the videos? Hold on, let me go to the videos. Where are they? Where are they? In the gallery, where's the gallery? There it is. You don't get the same exact gallery either. Well, kind of. Almost. Close enough. So all you get when you got CS3 is basically the launcher and the sounds, and that's probably it. And you could put four or five icons down here. So that's probably it. Thanks for watching, everyone. And this round does not make so much sense, but let me tell you that it's kind of fun. Like the launcher is the same. What what else? The launcher, the sounds. Let me figure out. There should be something else the same. Sounds, um, when, like when you go to phone, like the gaps, or, or, like not the gaps, like the nature apps, you, here, here's the phone right here, and here, and here's the phone, they almost the same, and here is the, the browser right here, let me see the browser, come on, let me see. Browser, 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 browser. Okay, well, the browser right here is almost the same too. Not the very same. Like when you click on the tabs, you get it differently. So this was it. Uh, again, it does not make so much sense, but it's kind of worth it just for fun. Like I'm keeping this wrong. What else? It's a, oh yeah, and it's cyanogen mod base, so you don't get the ROM control thing. You get system, but it still customize some stuff. But the only thing I really like in the um in the in AOKP is the options of the navigation bar, which you don't get here. That's why I didn't flash cyanogen mod on my Nexus Four. So thanks for watching. This was it, and see you on the next video.